So in this problem, I'm given a function to compare to in a limit comparison test for this very tricky series. The sum of n goes from 1 to infinity, natural log n over n squared. Now the reason we're choosing the comparison with n to the 3 halves is because something goes wrong if you try to compare to 1 over n squared. So when I do the limit comparison to that convergent p series, 1 over n squared, let's see, my n squares are going to cancel out and end up with the limit as n goes to infinity of natural log n, which is infinity. So what this means is the terms of our series are larger than those of a known convergent series, which tells us nothing. So that's an inconclusive limit comparison. And then we think, well, maybe we'll compare to the terms of the divergent harmonic series, 1 over n, but something else goes wrong. When I divided by 1 over n, I just went ahead and wrote it as multiplying by the reciprocal. And now I have the limit as n goes to infinity, natural log n over n. That's an infinity over infinity indeterminate form. Quick technicality here. I'm about to use L'Hopital's rule, so I better say, well, this is equal to the limit of the same function on the real numbers instead of the integers. Now I can take the derivative of the top and bottom. And I get 1 over x over 1. And when I take the limit as x goes to infinity, I get 0. What I just figured out is that the terms of my series are essentially less than the terms of a divergent series, which is another way of the limit comparison test being inconclusive. So that's the motivation for choosing the comparison that I suggested in the problem. That's a power on n that's just halfway in between a power of 1 and a power of 2. And maybe we'll be able to make some progress. So I get the limit as n goes to infinity natural log n over n squared is our original series, and then divided by 1 over n to the 3 halves, so just write it as multiplying by the reciprocal. All right, n squared is n to the 4 halves, so when I cancel n to the 3 halves out of that, I end up with just the n to the 1 half in the denominator, in other words, the square root of n. That's an infinity over infinity indeterminate form. So again, I'm going to switch to calling it a limit of x functions. So I'm allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. I take the derivative of the top and bottom. I get 1 over x over, and then square root of x is x to the 1 half. When I differentiate, I get 1 half x to the negative 1 half, or 1 over 2 root x. So I multiply by the reciprocal of that denominator, and I get 2 root x over x. Well, x is just square root of x squared, so I cancel a square root x. And I get 2 over root x, and now this clearly goes to 0. All right, the series I'm comparing to is a convergent p series, because the exponent on n is bigger than 1. And I just took the ratio of terms of our series to those of a convergent p series and it came out to zero this means essentially that the terms of our series are less than those of a convergent series so we can conclude now that our original series converges if you find the math content on zach's lab helpful click on the zach's lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel i produce dozens of new videos per month and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content thanks for watching